Welcome ladies and gentlemen. This video is intended to demonstrate the differences between the Flex 5000 and the Anand 100 with respect to their ability to reject out of band signals. Now SDR by its nature has fairly wide filtering at the front end. Now if you have seen my video for the Flex 5000 where I demonstrate the Heroes pre-selector you will know that one of the issues which afflicts the Flex is if you have a long wire antenna the Flex's front end is beset by very strong HF broadcast signals and those signals can find their way as images into the pan adapter and uh, quite often even into the demodulated audio so what I want to do here is although it is an apples and oranges comparison because they're two different architectures separated by a generation nonetheless it is useful to see how the two radios compare under identical conditions so both radios fed simultaneously via a Wilkinson splitter connected to a long wire antenna and we will look at how the radios behave under those conditions. We'll make use of the panafall function so we will have a waterfall display of the two radios. Starting off with six meters then you can instantaneously see on the right hand side well it's my right hand side for you it's underneath the Anan the waterfall is much much cleaner than that is visible in the flex just tune it slightly so that we're not showing any out of band there we go so taking a look at the two radios it's immediately obvious the difference on six meters in terms of out of band rejection it looks like we've actually got a bit of a six meter opening marginal happening here but anyway that's not what we're looking for what we're looking for are images which appear on one radio which don't appear on the other indicating uh, an out of band signal is managing to break through so quite clearly six meters not so good ten meters again it is immediately apparent that there is a significant difference between the out of band images which are appearing in the flex that are simply not present in the Anan. Regrettably there's an awful lot of noise at my location so there are inevitably multiple birdies Well, I think 10 meters has had sufficient illustration. So 12 meters. How are we doing? Again, 24,880 is a fairly obvious one. Between 24,960, 24,980, and some more. Fifteen. Unfortunately, one of my neighbours has got some electronics on, which causes havoc on this band. But nonetheless, we're still able to see images on the flex that don't appear in the Anan.
moving swiftly on to 17 18.040 is one 18.060 there is another 18.060 At 18.1 there are multiple signals or images present. 18.120 there is one on the Anand that's not present on the flex. As we continue looking up through the waterfall clearly there are a number of other images present that the Anand is managing to stave off. Down to 20 meters and as we progress down the band the effects decrease. As I skim over 20 meters nothing really jumps out at me let's sweep down through the ground yeah. I've got some rather rather unpleasant switch mode spurs that float about on 20 those wonderful jagged lines that you can see Apart from an image at 14.1 which appears on the flex that doesn't appear on the NR, the radios seem fairly well matched on this band. And as we progress down through the rest of the bands the, those effects diminish to nil. 30 meters unfortunately is uh, a bomb site uh, due to a neighbor's DSL connection yet to be resolved so there's very little that we can say about 30 meters 40 will be too busy to make any real sense from I'm sure there are one or two there somewhere but I'm certainly not going to look for them let's take a look at the 60 meter band There's a distinct image at 5.260 on the flex that's not present on the anon. But apart from that, again, the radios seem evenly matched. To 80. Oops, wrong radio to 80. Let's start at the top. And now I'm in upper side band, but I'm not planning on listening to the signals. No nasty surprises here.
and then finally to top band. Unfortunately, another bomb site as far as QRM is concerned. And I noticed that there is an image on the Anand which is not present on the Flex. It's a 1890, roughly. So my friends, anyway, that is how the, the two radios compare and uh, clearly demonstrates the benefits of the newer architecture in its implementation by Apache Labs. Oh. I hope this has proved useful to you.